Hey, hey, YouTube Gundam here. Welcome back. And uh, we're looking at some more modifications today. Uh, I've been sitting on this for a bit, doing some other things, just thinking of what I can do. Um, I removed the wind turbine that was there. But I'm keeping the new uh, uh, observation unit here. Somebody was suggesting I remove these ion engines here and then put the observation unit there. Yeah, um, no. That's a hangar. And I'm not getting rid of that hangar. And I, your view out the front would just be this. It'd be pretty well blocked. Having it here, you have a phenomenal view all over the place. So, oh, I didn't show where you get into this. There's actually a double room here. Shortly after you go, uh, you go in he from here, which is the green deck, that's crew quarters. So from here, you, to get main engineer, you go to either side, go around, there's your elevator shaft. But from here, there's observation. So right from the white, you just pop off and you're out here, then go through this door to get to the upper unit. So by having a double door system, uh, they're isolated from each other and it doesn't mean that anyone who tries to get in won't. Any weapon shots won't be able to damage it. So I did modify a couple of the guns positions by bringing the bofers critically right to the edge of their close to the edge. So they're not going to shoot our own ship very much. Uh, that one as well as that one down there. These are so far in, I just left them. Here they are. These ones. Remember in the test firing, these were doing it. So I moved these. Uh, I thought there were others. Guess not. Ooh, there. Uh, uh, an important thing. If the lag would stop. An important thing is a CIC. The bridge is that way down there. I mean, and it's pretty big. And right behind it is the observation deck with the Vulcan protecting it. The bridge, the main bridge is big. The secondary bridge is in the uh, hangar over there. Hang on, I want a picture of this. But if you are in the main bridge and you want to go to a CIC, because the observ or observation, <laughs> idiot, uh, the um, meeting room is down here. The briefing room is down there, but from the bridge, I'll spawn my character to show you, you head up here, go all the way to the top, drop down, head out, and here. Here's the CIC. It's very small, but it'll work. This was the forward section of the hydrogen bay, so... And I switched this to an LCD to say, bridge is the center, rear doors are CRC, the front doors is airlock. And the airlock is also marked, so that way it's a little easier. Now to get to the hydrogen and the rest of the ship, you gotta come forward. You gotta go then down. To here. Here's some maintenance supplies for some people. And they can choose to go left or right. And they enter this. This is where it used to be. Right above us, there was that. There were three hydrogen tanks here. Now there's not. Uh, so, it reduced the total number of tanks here to six, which heavily reduced the total amount of hydrogen, but on a moon, that won't matter. It will matter for a planet, but the hydrogen unit is supposed to be bigger, and the Atmos units means you're not using very much anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So, I did change some of the coloring here and there in order to make it, uh, be easier for the fact of the outside of the ship, because outside is what matters. This is the shaft to go to the bridge, so that just continues on to the rest. I wanted air, so I didn't block that, obviously. So, yeah. Now, some people have asked, why do I have this open? So that way, if some, if you want to go a little faster, you can just float up 
take care of it. And it's a lot better on the main deck. Ugh. The other one, all the way on the other side of the ship, it's way more noticeable. Should I keep those? Yeah, I'll keep those because of sheer distance. And I want to keep a couple. Oh, yeah, we did a lot of the coloring, so. Yeah. Donk. So if you're all the way at the bottom, which is high. Oh, yeah, that was the hydrogen, the bottom. Whoopsie. Seriously, did I screw. Oh, all that way when all I had to do was this. Yep. <laughs> all I had to do was turn around and walk forward, and I'd be there. Ugh, Brig. That. You can see the blue deck and the green deck. Uh, the white deck's pretty much all the way down, but you can just fly up if you want to, all the way to the loft, which... There's no reason to have this. That's just a consumption of CPU, so get rid of that. But yeah, uh, the white deck's all the way at the bottom. So you got the blue and the green. And yeah, so yeah. It's, if you just need a quick way, you can easily go. I'm in creative mode, which is why I did not take damage with that. But normally I would. So yeah. The ship is moving ever so slightly. So I get in. Give it a second. Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I do like this bridge. So the CIC is basically here. And then the hydrogen is back there and there. Uh, what else did I change? Um, oh, yes. There was light armor covering this cargo container, and I have heavy armor covering it, and this hydrogen tank. Uh, yeah. I figure that should be not ammunition. Ammunition should probably be the one in main engineering, which is just here. But then again, it could just be other stuff. I'm going to leave that all up to them. So, mm. however, I did put in one other thing. This projector. It's called projector repairs, which I want to show it on the HUD. Go away. The projector repairs. If the ship takes damage, you turn this on and it should, in a one-to-one, -one, show the ship. So that way, uh, because of how this game works, it's literally a projector. And you saw in the briefing room, there's a projector here. Lag spike. There is this, however, this is much smaller. And that's also the wrong one. I need to change that. But that other one is to scale. And if you have one that is to scale, you uh, can actually tell it to only show buildable. You go and repair what blocks are damaged and then replace the blocks. Because it'll show you the buildable. So if there is extensive damage, then it's a very quick and easy uh, it's, yeah, it's a very, very brief, quick, easy thing to do to, uh, Ready to go. Massive lag spike. Oh, there you go. What in the world is going on with that? That's near the airlock. Or the observation. That should be around here or just below it. But everything's all sealed. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. Weird. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Glitch. I'm honestly not surprised. 
Uh, I was thinking all these different pals I have here. I don't need all of them. Where are they used to? So, there we go. Yeah, that'll help my CPU again. So, I need to... No, I've removed even more. I need to go and adjust that again. I need to finish up those panels. And then I gotta think, what in all do I still need to do? Uh, I like how you can actually see the inside a little there. Yeah, that's nice. Is the other door open? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that. Yep, they're all open. Cool. So, yes. Um, once again, hopefully it's done. Maybe it's not. But, I... Oh, it's just so... So yes, I have a CIC instead of nine hydrogen tanks. It's only six here, but there's two more in the back. And then, uh, yeah, CIC is located right there, directly underneath this part of the hangar. There's your connection for the Ford Fighter. Uh, very, very basic CIC, not even LCD panels, just red alert panels. Button panels for blast doors and for red alert and the interior lights. The hydrogen, like I said, jump drives. Back there is cargo and jump drives. There's other cargo and stuff around, so yeah. So, um, yeah. Hopefully this is the, f oh yeah. I changed it to a light assault cruiser, not a heavy assault cruiser. Because heavy armor is just this forward section here, the whole thing. A segment down here to protect the hydrogen tanks and underneath it, which is to protect the hydrogen tanks, not the briefing room. And the, uh, that unit sitting on top of that to protect the cargo and whatnot. I don't even have the bridge with a uh, heavy armor, which I think I want that with heavy armor, but I'm afraid if I delete that, it'll get rid of the console. So, eh. <laughs> The shields. We'll go with the shields. Bridge is someone exposed from there, but that's the window. I mean, it doesn't matter the bridge because the windows. All they gotta do is shoot the windows and you're done. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, I don't come up with anything else. Oh yeah, if you're asking why is it this, because there's almost no heavy armor. And it's almost all light armor, but there's a lot of guns. That's why it's an assault cruiser, but a light assault cruiser. Heavy assault cruiser would have a ton more heavy armor and a bit more guns, but not much. Da, 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 da. All right. <clears throat> Little final look of the comparison of the vessels. According to Captain Jack, he said bigger than the Eclipse but smaller than the Daedalus Battlecruiser, similar to the Defender Frigate. Well, that's the Eclipse. That's it. This tiny thing is it. The Defender, much beefier, compare... Uh, yeah, compared to, of course, the Valiant here, which is a big boy. So, hmm. The Valiant's actually pretty squat. Very short, but very long with this forward section. The Defender could be a lot smaller if it didn't have this large hanger. Right. Where does that even come out? Just b about this level. So it could be pretty small. My Nagafar is practically the same length as the Defender. A little bit wider, not much. Height, it's not a lot more. It's a bit, though. A little. 
but it's the size, it's the volume. Putting a ship into a box can make it pretty small, so you make it big and chunky. Yeah. I'm going to suggest to Captain Jack that he does a destroyer next. Something that has to be smaller than a cruiser and bigger than this Eclipse. Similar to the Defender, but it has to be smaller than the cruisers people have built. So whatever cruiser they built, they got to make a f destroyer smaller than this frigate, excuse me. Yeah. And I got an idea on what I can do with that. That would be my suggestion. So, yes. At size, I'm going to delete these now. Let's get rid of the little guy first. Goodbye. Goodbye. And there's a massive save. Heavy, uh, light Assault Cruiser, Naglefar class. And, of course, that's missing again. Because why is it not? Catch you later.